quiet. Friedrich, could you keep an eye on them for a moment? Children, behave for Mr. Bear. Hello? Uh, Mrs. Kirk, it's Josephine March. Josephine! Come in. I am so glad to have you. I'm in desperate need of your assistance. I hope you like children particularly loud and energetic ones. Only if they have as much energy as I do. <laughs> come in, come in and meet them, then we'll get you set up in your room. Uh, it appears that the children have busy themselves and trying to try their best impression of my profile, Mrs. Kirk. I will, um, um, um. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Bear, this is the daughter of a dear old friend of mine, Josephine March. She will be the governess and tutor for my children. Josephine, this is Professor Frederick Bear. Pleasure to meet you, Professor. Pleasure to meet you as well, and uh, welcome to New York. Thank you. What, what do you do here in New York? Well, I tutor my two young nephews, who I am late to see. But good day to you both. Good day. <laughs> Frederick is uh, one of my best supporters. He has always helped me people around who me the most. Back in Germany, he was a professor of literature at the university there. He is a good man, but for as a church mouse, he could do more. Why doesn't he? He's always busy tutoring those nephews of his. They're orphans, and he feels responsible. Like I said, he's a good man. But anyway, that's enough about the professor. Let's get you set up in your room. Oh, I'm so glad to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> 